7 a.m. and Lori Leshen is out the door and making history as she arrives for her new job at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab or JPL. She's the lab's first female director since it was established in 1936. It only took 86 years. <laughs> I mean, it's an absolute thrill of a lifetime and such an enormous honor. A long walk across the 168-acre campus, and it's clear that Leshen is something of a space science rock star. Uh, hi, I'm Lori. As she introduces herself to the lab's more than 6,000 employees and gets up to speed with JPL's groundbreaking projects. Stars are so bright that it's really hard to see them. Exactly. But with this instrument, you're going to block the light of the star so you can see a planet that's like a billion times dimmer, right? With 40 current space missions, looking at the Earth, its atmosphere, Earth's clouds, the sun, asteroids, the list goes on, even supporting the James Webb Telescope as it explores the origins of the universe. JPL, focused on unmanned space exploration, is buzzing with possibility. It's my first JPL town hall ever. And for Lori, this is a homecoming. She joined NASA in 2005 and went on to become the first female president of the Worcester Polytechnic Institute, one of the country's leading engineering and technology universities. Much of her decades-long career has centered around the exploration of Earth's nearest neighbor, Mars. She says the planet has fascinated her since she was a child. It started when I was 10 years old and saw the first images from the surface of Mars from the Viking landers that came down right here at JPL, and I wanted to reach out and touch those rocks, and that's been true of, during my whole career. Now she oversees the lab's so-called Mars Yard, created to test drive replicas of JPL's rovers on simulated Martian landscape, including a replica of what Lori fondly calls her Mars baby, Curiosity. What does that mean to you personally? It's one of the most exciting things I've ever done. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. <laughs> Lori was on the team when Curiosity landed on Mars, on her birthday no less, 10 years ago this August. It's still roving the red planet to this day. It was awesome. It was amazing. <laughs> it was one of those things where the emotions were overwhelming. And you would think like then you would go out and celebrate, but you can't because you have a new baby on Mars. <laughs> a career highlight that paved the way for perseverance. The rover is now collecting rock samples that could... I hope it reveals the answer to the biggest question there is, are we alone in the universe? Small goals. We have small goals <laughs> around here. <laughs> what does your gut tell you the answer to that question I is? think um, it's 50-50. It could be yes, it could be no. Regardless, Lesham says it's progress made possible thanks to the female pioneers that came before her. I know I stand on the shoulders of lots of wonderful people who came before me. We just lost Nichelle Nichols, Lieutenant Uhura from Star Trek, and, and Sally Ride was actually a friend of mine. And I realized they could use that as a platform to lift others, to light the way for others. And I think I have the same opportunity here at JPL. What's next for JPL? We're driving around Mars right now with Perseverance sampling rocks, and we're going to go get them. We've got things from Earth to the planets to the universe. It's a very exciting time here. The sky's the limit, or not. The sky is not the limit. We, as we say, we dare mighty things together here at JPL. Leshen also told me JPL has an important role in the upcoming Artemis mission to the moon. Its deep space network will be the main tool used to communicate between Artemis One and Earth. Guys, spending the day with Leshen was so interesting and exciting, and get this, she even has an asteroid named after her. She says it's way out in the asteroid belt, and it never comes anywhere near Earth, so she says it's the good kind. The good kind. Yeah. The good yeah. kind of yeah. asteroid. I love to hear her with that dream as a 10-year-old, and all of a sudden, here she sits on top of the mountain. That was a beautiful story, Aaron. Very Thank cool. you. Thanks, Aaron. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.